Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Today I thought I'd bring up a subject that I kind of missed in the in the function series um, because I showed you all the parameters, I showed you reference parameters, pointers, everything, but I did not show you how to use an array as a parameter. Now I want to make this video just in case, uh, unless you did not figure it out. Uh, it's not that hard. I'll create a vector as well, but there are two things you need to think about, and there are a few things that are kind of complicated. So, an array basically is a pointer. Every array is a pointer to the first element. So, let me show you how that works because you need to kind of know this in order to go on. So, in memory, you have your stuff. I think I showed you this before. This is your memory, um, kind of all these cells, right? Bunch of cells here, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so when you have a regular variable, you put it in one of these and it has its data in here. But an array is always a pointer, which is stored in here, but it points always to the first element within its ordered self, okay? So an array can have like 10 elements or something like that, some, something like that, like three elements here. So imagine us having an array of uh, maybe something, it's called array, and it's pointing to the first element of the array. So the first element is one, Second one might be 34, this is 545, something like that. But they're all ordered like this, and it points to the first element. And then when you go to the second one and the third one, they're all ordered like that. And uh, so that's good to know. So just remember the fact that it points to the first element. And what we do when we have a function, void print array. So we're going to make a function to print all the elements in one array. Okay, so we want to want to get an array in here as an argument, and we want to print all of that out. Um, and the way to do that, if we have an integer array, and we make it, let's let's do this. Let me show you how to make an array quickly with a constant. So const int uh, array size equals. Let's have uh, ten elements. So we'll have an array with ten elements, and we'll create it like this. So what's going on here? Well, the only way to create an array without writing 10 here, or a literal like this, something like that, you need to make that size integer a constant. Otherwise, it's going to complain. So if I had an, a regular integer here, size equals 10, and I tried to create this with the size variable, it would complain. It would say, incomplete type is not allowed, whatever, whatever. So you need to use a constant integer. So this is a array size. Let me see. Array size, just like that. There you go. So now we created an array size and we created an array out of that. And our goal is to send it in here. So let me fill this array up with some stuff. Let's make a for loop. You can use size t here if you want. Don't freak out. It's just a integer, like I said before. Another name for a unsigned integer, basically. And, and then we want to go to array size like that. So we want to iterate through 10 times because we know the array is 10 big. Okay, it has 10 spaces uh, within itself. Uh, so we're going from 0 to 9, 0 to 9, and what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up. And we're going to fill it up with an um, array at position i equals i. So all we're doing is we're putting this variable into the array. So the index will be 0, and the value at the index will be 0 as well, and then 1, 1, 2, 2, and so on, and so on. You can put any number here you want. You can put all of these to 10 if you want, 20, whatever number you want. But this is just to make it a little fun. So if I print these out, uh, array at position i, and I make a new line like this, and I run this, uh, you'll see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, and that's all the values within it, uh, within the array. So now we know we have an array with a bunch of stuff in it. But we're not going to do this in here now. We're going to do this in a function. So this is a function that can print out an integer array. So how do I send an array into a function? There are two important things to know here. An array does not know its own size. So you can't just send it in and use a for loop to go through all of the elements because we don't know how many elements will be in the array. Well, we'll know, but the computer won't know. 
but and you don't want to write 10 in here because you want it to be more dynamic like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make space for a constant integer const int reference uh, size so this is gonna be the size of the array so we're gonna send in the size and we're gonna send in the actual array so size is easy right we're sending in a constant integer reference we're just gonna be sending in the size there but how do we send in the array well remember it, every array is a pointer to the first place in in the memory okay to its first element so all we need all we need to do is a const int pointer array just like that so this means that I made it const you don't have to make it const if you want to change stuff in the array but I'm not gonna be changing anything in the array I'm just gonna be uh, using it to print out stuff so this is a good space where or a good place uh, to to remember that uh, if you're not gonna change anything in the array make it a const int pointer um, so yeah there we go so this is how you send it in since every array is a pointer this has to be a pointer you can't have a reference you can't have anything else you need a pointer another way you can do it is another symbol for the array pointer is using two of these okay and I don't know why it's complaining it should not be okay I guess that's why and um, it shouldn't be complaining there but it is now it's not okay fine whatever but if you write this this basically is the same thing this makes it a pointer but it's a little more easy to read that we want to send in an array here you don't have to put anything in between here these two empty means that we want to send in an array but it's the same thing as writing a pointer symbol okay so you can choose the one either one uh, so what we want to do is we want to print out everything in this array okay so we're gonna we're gonna just use the size here that we sent in because we know that this array is gonna have this size we're sending it in and we want to print everything out now I think I copy pasted it yep like that so that's our function and I can just call it now I can say print array okay print array array size is our size and the actual array is what we're sending in here and this will automatically do all of this code so let me run this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 perfect perfect so that is one type of way to send in an array and I just want to make another function here just to demonstrate that you can actually change things so I'll make it I'll remove this and I'll say replace array let me say replace array um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an integer array and we're gonna replace it with a number all the elements in the array are gonna be replaced by this number so const int reference value so this function is just gonna take the array and it's gonna replace all the elements with this value so array so we don't have to do this we don't have to print anything out we're just gonna say array i equals value and see how I removed the constant here if I still had the constant we'll get an error we'll say expression must be a modifiable value so I removed the constant because I want to change stuff in the array so there you go that should work now I'll, I'll run this um, replace array array size array and I want to replace everything with a 200 just like that and now when print array is called it should all be 200 everything is 200 see so that's a good way to actually make a function so you want to do this if you want to make a sorting function or a a some type of function that randomizes everything and all kinds of stuff so you can do a bunch of stuff with this and uh, uh, let me see yeah so that's it and now I included vector because I wanted to show you how to actually send a vector in as well let me see if I can do that vector int my vec like that and we'll make a function this should work in these functions as well so let me just say my vec dot pushback i that's how we do it let me just try this off with the vector as well Let's see if it works and we'll say uh, my vec like that and it says exactly it's not a my vec dot data 
like that. So if you want to send a vector into one of these functions where you have an integer array, just the basic array, you have to send myVec.data because that my vector is a vector in itself. But within it is a simple array just like this for an integer. So you want to access that array. For that you have to do dot data and you'll send it in and here you have to do my vec dot size so let's just try all this if it works my vec dot data and then my vec dot size okay so let's just run this and it should work 200 200 everything worked perfect so that's how you send in the vector now i want to show you one last thing for vectors it's a really important thing uh, print vector so what you can do is you can actually send in a std vector in here for integer and do a reference vec like that so what the magic here is you don't have to send in a size for it okay you don't have to send in a size you don't have to do anything you just uh, send in the vector so let me just do this for vec dot size see the vector keeps track of its own size std c out vec like that and a new line just like that boom you should be done and if we want to try this out let's do this let's just remove this or comment this out and say print vec print vector and then just say my vec in here boom easy just like that and we run this and it should print 200, 200 exactly so that's how we print out a vector and obviously you want to remove the constant if you want to change stuff in the vector if you want to add stuff and stuff like that so just remember that and yeah i think that concludes everything i think i went through everything so just remember that and in the future when we'll be um, we'll be increasing the size of arrays and dynamic arrays. We'll come across something called an in a pointer reference, a reference pointer, just like that. It looks really weird. Okay, I think it should be like this. Yeah, pointer reference is really weird, but I'll explain that in the future. But just know that it exists. But for now, you just need a pointer. So yeah, guys and girls, thank you for watching. Take care. I hope you learned something. Keep working hard, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye bye.